tired of your text just appearing on screen? What if your words could have energy, flow and a cinematic feel that grabs everyone's attention? In the next few minutes, I'm going to break down the exact process for creating this viral premium text animation inside of Adobe After Effects. It's the technique used by top professionals to make their titles pop. And the best part, it's easier than you think. And to get you started even faster, grab the free project file and preset link in the description down below and let's dive in and bring your text to life. So firstly, let's create a new composition for this and let's call it as main render comp and for the preset i will go with 1920 by 1080 pixels with a 30 frame per second and the duration of 10 seconds and the background color set to all black hit ok and hit ok again now let's add a background first i'm using this texture background you can go with any background you like right click go to transform and let's click on fit to composition hit t to open the opacity properties and set the opacity value back to 80 percent something around hit u to hide its property now let's grab the text type tool and type your text you can use or you can type any text you like let's type the future is now and the full stop select your text align it in the center of the composition and for the font i'm using the montserrat bold font you can go with any font you like and for the font size i'm going with the 140 pixels is enough let's select your text layer and make sure the anchor point is in the center of the text now let's i'm going to split each word separately i'm using the free script called text explorer you can manually uh, separate each word by word but i'm using the text explorer script you can use it too. so set the split into set to words and make sure that delete original is checked and the layer order is set to top to bottom and hit apply and boom it separates automatically and it makes so much your work easier so yeah now let's select our first uh, feature text which we are gonna animate our text so firstly let's holding shift select all the text layer and make sure the anchor point is in the center of the text now let's select our first text layer and let's animate it uh, expand that layer and click on animate and select the position property again click on add go to property and this time select the opacity property again click on add go to property and lastly select the blur property now set the vertical position to 45 and set the opacity to 0% and set the bare amount something around 35 and now expand the range selector and expand the advanced property and here increase the ease high value little bit something around 14 to 18 maybe and increase the ease low value to something around 74 percent now make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the timeline animate the offset make a keyframe on offset with a value of zero percent and move the playhead to around uh, two frame and increase the offset value to 100 so our animation will look like this let's set the base on set to characters let's set it to lines and our animation will look like this hit you to see the keyframes select your keyframes and let's apply this graph speed graph and now our animation will look like this it's too much fast so let's increase the width or increase the time around the keyframes between the keyframes let's see our animation yeah it's looking perfect now let's copy and paste the same animation to all the three layers so expand again the text layer properties and just click on this animator and hit ctrl c to copy the animator and hit u to hide its properties and hold Holding shift select the second and the last third layer text layer make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the timeline and now hit ctrl v to paste the animator so our animation will be pasted to all the layers so yeah and we will offset each layer by one or two frame maybe so holding ctrl and shift and right arrow key just click once and our playhead will be here so drag this second layer to something around here again I repeat the same process holding ctrl and shift and right arrow key just click once and drag the third layer something around here again holding ctrl shift and right arrow key and drag the fourth layer something around here so our text will be offset something like this so yeah now let's uh, let's make an effect for the future text so select the future text and let's drag our first effect called four color gradient effect drag the effect to the future text layer and now let's set the first point at the start of the text let's set the second point to the last let's set the third point again to the first of the text and let's set the fourth point to something around here now make sure the first and the third color will be the same and the second and fourth color will be the same okay let's choose our first color it will be like maybe a light pink color hit okay and now click on this color dropper of the third color and just choose the first color so it will be applied to the both layers 
now let's choose our second color which we which will be a like maybe a bluish tone maybe yeah hit okay now select this fourth color color dropper and just choose this second color so our color will be like this now you can drag these points something like this so the colors will be exchanged yeah perfect so our text will look like this now again select your text layer let's drag an effect called turbulent noise effect drag this effect to our text layer now set the factor type to swirly and the noise type set to soft linear and you can adjust the contrast and brightness according to your like i will go with the uh, 80 with the contrast and the brightness let's set it to 5 yeah and now let's change the blending mode you can choose according to your background i will go with something around maybe overlay let's set it to soft light maybe yeah soft lights work better with like this now let's do one more thing holding alt or option key on your keyboard just click on this evolution stopwatch and it will open the expression tab just type a simple expression called time astray 150 and just hit enter or just you can click anywhere you like so our expression will be applied to this uh, turbulent noise and you can see the effect on this future text it looks cool super cool yeah perfect so this was our effect so uh, lastly lastly let's apply another third effect which is obviously a glow effect let's call the deep glow effect you can go with the default glow effect that will be good too let's uh, drag the hair or something let's set the radius to around 150 and set the exposure to 0 0.10 and let's change the blending mode to add maybe yeah perfect and now let's add some chromatic aberration let's enable it and let's change the amount to 0 0.20 so it will give a chromatic aberration effect type like this so yeah now let's copy this deep glow effect to our first and these set two layers so select your deep glow effect right click and just copy it select your first layer holding control key select the third and the fourth hit control v to paste the pack and just select the first text layer and just decrease the exposure 0. Point, like something around 0. 0.30 maybe or maybe 0. 0.05 let's decrease the radius to around 100 let's decrease more like this and just change the blend mode to screen let's decrease something like 55 radius perfect right click copy and now holding control select both the layers and hit control v to paste the effect so our glow will be applied to all the layers and for the animation just click on the future layer and hit u to see its keyframe and you can go with the reverse keyframe effect i let's go around 4.15 frame and just make a keyframe to give it a pause and move the playhead to around 5.15 frame and just copy the first keyframe hit ctrl c and hit ctrl v to paste the keyframe so our reverse animation will be applied like this you can repeat the same with all the text layers let's quickly apply it to all the layers I'll hit u to see all the keyframes now let's apply something like uh, make a keyframe just selecting the first keyframe hit ctrl c and hit ctrl v to paste the keyframe yeah holding shift select both the layers hit u to see their keyframes and now something around here make a keyframe move the playhead to something around maybe sixth frame just copy the first keyframe for both the layers and our animation will look like this just render it for the smooth playback holding shift select all the layers hit u to hide all the keyframes and now lastly just turn on the motion blur for all the text layer and just hit n to execute the area for your animation and now just render it for the smooth playback and our animation is almost ready just make sure you render it let's see our final animation and there you have it your new show stopping text animation is ready but this is more than just a technique it's your new creative superpower you now have the keys to make your message not just seen but felt think about the stories you can tell the brands you can elevate and the art you can create with just a few keyframes so go ahead experiment push the boundaries and make something truly unforgettable i can't wait to see what you create if you are ready to continue on this creative journey master the more skills like this and make sure you subscribe until next time keep creating